everyone and welcome to vlogmas day 12 okay so i promised that this is the last day of a non-vlog and a different type of video because i'm going home tomorrow i'm officially done with my first semester i finished my last exam about two hours ago so for today's video because i'm just gonna be sitting around i decided i want to do a reflection survival guide all that kind of stuff about my first semester of college this first semester these past what august september october november five months have changed me so much my life has changed more than I ever could have imagined it's a whole new world it's very scary very intimidating but I would not trade it for anything okay so I have like a list of topics I don't really have a order I'm just gonna kind of go down the list I hope that it makes sense okay so backstory if you're new I go to the University of Florida go Gators and I'm studying advertising first thing on my list is roommate so I'm just gonna go for it so I decided to live with a good friend of mine from high school Emma the thing is it's very tricky and it could suck either way whether you live with a friend or live with a random I was kind of always like I want to do random or someone I distantly know the reason I went with Emma is because the thing is Emma and I like knew each other all of high school but we did not get close until like early senior year really like mid late senior year so we were like really good friends and we knew each other and we knew we'd get along but it wasn't like my best best friend granted Emma has become my best best friend but I do think I got really lucky and it is tricky either way you can get stuck with a weird random or your best friend and you can totally get along with living with your best friend or you can end up you know wanting to kill each other so honestly my advice is just to go with your gut I had a good feeling about Emma and who she'd be as a roommate and as a friend I knew she'd be super respectful and clean we honestly have not had any like drama at all this semester we've gone in like friend little like spats but none of it's been related to like living situations I literally am so happy with my choice so I really would just recommend going with your gut okay so something that I feel like no one talks about is you don't need to get a meal plan okay this is something that I was completely isolated every single one of my friends was getting a meal plan whether it be through the dining hall or through a sorority oh that's something I need to talk about too sororities basically the reason I kind of had like the idea to cook for myself is because both of my older sisters did it so for me cooking for myself came from a financial standpoint personally I pay for half of everything so half of like my rent half of tuition although I have scholarships so my tuition's paid for my parents give me like a set budget every month for food but my parents are extremely like anti-meal plan and I totally understand why now that I've been here because it is if you do the math okay wait I want to do the math so I'm not wrong okay my parents give me 200 a month like total and I use that all for groceries it ends up being like exactly what I need like literally 200 on the dot okay what is a meal plan like three grand about over five months is six hundred dollars worth of food a month and like yeah that's i'm pretty sure that's the unlimited one but there's not a meal plan i don't think under 2000. it's literally such an excessive amount of money for horrible food every single one of my friends eats like subway for dinner because it's part of the meal plan they don't go to the dining hall for food because all that's good there is pizza which isn't healthy and the salad bar it is the biggest joke maybe your college is better i know fsu actually has really good quality food but here it's just not it's it ain't it chief me and emma ended up compromising we lived in a dorm that is smaller but it does have a kitchen so i cook completely for myself i rarely eat out literally probably eat out once every one to two weeks i literally pack my lunch every day i don't think everyone can do it but if you think there's a slight chance that you can and save the money please do because personally i have found like a deep passion for cooking like i look forward to it so much i love planning my meals i love making them and it does help that i'm like a neat freak so i don't mind the cleanup and you know it is a lot like also i don't really make like mac and cheese like i make like legitimate meals as you guys have seen so I don't think that everyone can do it, especially freshman year of college. And once again, it all depends on who you are. But if you think you can cook for yourself, it is like 
the greatest way to save money ever. Okay, I'll talk about sorority now. So personally, once again, I did not rush for a financial reason, but also my parents just aren't like the biggest fan of Greek life. Like they've always kind of talked down on it. And I have like seen some insight because Emma, Emma's in a sorority and like she really likes it. She's met a lot of super nice girls. It's a great way to get involved. I guess all I really have to say is give it a try, but Personally, for me, I never really gave it the time of day because if I joined a sorority, my parents would not contribute to it at all, and that would be like my entire savings account for like one year of it. So I think it is a fun experience, but honestly, I've been fine without it. I've met a lot of friends without it. It's okay if you don't want to, if you don't have the financial means, it's okay either way. You know, like either way, you're gonna meet a crap ton of people. I guess it also depends on where you go to school because I go to my school is number eight in the country for public university, so everyone here is super smart, super driven. I mean, it's a college, but it's not trashy. So really, it's completely up to you with that. Okay, so as for new friends, it took me about like a month to kind of find my footing with my friend group. There's about two people I knew from high school, Emma and Kaylee, and then everyone else was new. My closest like new friend that I met here is Katie that you guys know who I'm living with next year. I met her through Kelly, you guys know. Kelly, that I know from high school, like randomly lived with Katie. They like met on Facebook, whatever. So that's how I met Katie. Our good friend Sarah, Kaylee met because they live in the same dorm. I'm just trying to think how to meet people. I mean, it's all super random. I've met some people through class, but in my experience, it's like the type of relationship where you only talk in class about that class. I've never really like built a relationship from that. So in the beginning, I just recommend putting yourself out there. I definitely in the beginning was worried that I was sticking to like Emma and Kaylee too much, but it ended up like everyone kind of branched off. Okay, so as for actual academics, this semester I took 12 credits, so I never really like went over what classes, I guess I will. Okay, so I took Mass Media and You, which is like the introduction to like any journalism major. Hated it just because the professors were awful and the material was so irrelevant but got an A. I took Greek mythology for like a gen ed credit and actually really liked it. It was super interesting and actually made me realize like I'm pretty good at history kind of stuff. Um, I took marriage and family, gen ed, so stupid. And then man's food, gen ed science, which I hated somehow pulled out an A. So I pulled out with all A's. It definitely takes a while to find your footing with classes too and figure out study habits. I came to college, I vividly remember with like no materials. I didn't bring any like notebooks or flashcards. I was like, I'm just gonna do everything on my computer. I actually have like a college study routine if you guys wanna go watch that. But I learned I have to like write things out. Like everyone's different, but basically you just have to learn your study style. You have to learn to study over long periods of time. You never can get behind because then you're just gonna be cramming, stuff like that. I'm excited for next semester. I think it's gonna be a lot more challenging for me. Next semester, I'm taking like econ, philosophy. I'm taking an advertising class, which I'm excited for. So it's definitely gonna be a little more challenging, but I think I'm ready for it now that I have fully like established my study habits and learned what tests in college are like. Yes, like I took AP dual enrollment, but like, it's really not the same style. Don't freak out too much. As long as you're taking freshman like appropriate courses, you'll be totally fine. Something else is don't feel guilty if you're not in a STEM major. Literally, basically all my friends except for Katie are STEM majors. And it's kind of the stigma of like, if you're not STEM, you're like lazy, you're not working as hard, you're not gonna make as much money. And I really don't encourage believing that. I just encourage doing whatever you like because there's a ton of money and a ton of success in other fields. STEM, if you don't know, is like science, technology, engineering, medicine. I feel like that's wrong, but whatever. You know what, more power to them. Those people struggle because those courses are extremely challenging. Any math or science is especially here, but I just wanna clear up please do not feel guilty if you're not doing something like that if it's not your passion you shouldn't be doing it personally I've really had to learn to ignore the judgment of not being in that field it's not for everyone I do think like all my friends in STEM they're gonna enjoy it they're gonna love their jobs but also I just think because so many people do it because it's like oh if you do STEM then you're gonna be successful and make a lot of money I think that's where the stigma comes from so Whatever path you're taking, just be confident in it and don't let other people derail you, whether you're doing something maybe less challenging, but that you love and you are devoted to and there's still hard work. Or if you're doing something super challenging, don't 
get discouraged if it's really what you want to do. Okay, tangent. Okay, as for a job, I decided I kind of like kind of knew this but I also it just worked out like this I didn't get a job this semester I'm definitely going to next semester it was just there really wasn't anything of interest to me and also I was okay financially and I knew I could wait till next semester because I'd saved a lot because my parents were helping me out with groceries and otherwise my only expenses were like ubers that's something else it's very easy to spend immense amounts of money in college if it's your money or your parents money just don't just budget be smart please I would definitely recommend considering a job but probably second semester, I think first semester is important to work on, you know, grounding yourself and establishing yourself. Just join a club. I only joined one club. It was something related to advertising. I do want to get more involved in the next semester because I kind of at this point just like go to the general body meetings and listen and don't really, you know, do stuff with them. It's a great way to meet people, a great way to start your resume, start early. Don't feel too pressured like, oh my god, I need to do an internship now and I need to do this. But like, you know, baby steps. Also, establish a schedule. This is something else that's a little bit touchy. Everyone works on a different schedule, but personally for me, I don't believe staying up all night, doing your work, sleeping is the way to go. I really think it's important to try to establish a normal sleeping schedule, a normal eating schedule, a normal study schedule. Once again, people are productive at different times of the day. Whatever you do, please stay healthy. It's so easy to get sick in college. So sleep enough, eat enough, take care of yourself. Don't mess around just because other people are doing it and don't know how to take care of themselves. Okay, so finally, I'm just gonna close talking a bit about going out. I really don't have anything to say. Just be smart, be safe, go out in groups. It's a super fun part of college, but don't get too wrapped up into it. Fall semester, it's a lot of game days. There were, what, seven game days? So that kind of takes up your whole Saturday and then you're like too tired that night but my friends pretty much always went out every weekend. Here it's not really a thing. I know at FSU and a lot of other places it's a thing to go out on like a random Tuesday night. Here people are like studying. So no matter how much of a like party oriented school you go to, stay grounded, remember your morals <laughs> and don't overdo it because you're gonna get sick of it. Other stuff is more important. Please remember to do other fun things too with your friends. Go to a coffee shop, go shopping because personally I feel like a lot of relationships that I have are solely like oh we just go out together and, and I would like to have more of a relationship with them but it's kind of how you start the relationship sticks and if you don't hang out with them in normal settings then it's kind of like okay guys so I hope that you guys enjoyed this survival guide reflecting this was such a good semester UF has been so good to me and I'm so excited to continue my academic career here I love you all and I'll see you tomorrow peace and love